Hello, this is John Claiborne from the Bashful Puppet blog. We've been working on prairie dogs, specifically the mate for uh, this green one here. We're working on an orange one, and we're ready to start uh, fastening the fabric together. Now, in our last segment, I said we were going to uh, begin stitching it together, but I realized since then that there's something else we need to show you. Here is the prairie dog we're working on. And what I have done is um, fastened to, pinned together one side. And as you can see, it's coming together nicely. When we sew that, that's going to look really, really nice. But I want to show you how I pinned it. Um, what you need to do is I've got this side. It's unpinned. So I'll work on the other side is we're going to don't need these pins there anymore. They'll just jab into me. Is we're going to roll the edge of the bottom fabric and of the, the lighter colored fabric, and I'll try to stay out of the way so that you can see as much as I can. Uh, I've got the yellow fabric on the bottom, and I'm going to I folded it, rolled it just a little bit. Now I'm going to poke it through, poke a needle through, pin rather, and then reach up and catch the orange fabric that's on the top of the head, and then come right back through and catch the yellow fabric again. And that's going to help me when I sew it together to make that seam just right. Now, it's important that these seams absolutely are right to make the shape of the puppet what it needs to be. And you can see I took the time to get this, particularly this curve right, so that this fabric is laying nice and tight without any gathers, because that doesn't look normal uh, to have a lot of gathers. Now, it looks like there's gathers because this is loose, but once I stitch that together, it won't have hardly any gathers whatsoever, and it's going to look perfect. So now, we'll put the next needle in, uh, take a little roll of the yellow fabric, Pull the orange fabric kind of taut and go straight in and then come out the orange fabric and it's pinned in place. Now at this point I need to put this thing on and check it almost every single pin I put in place so that I can see that it's laying right and it looks pretty good so far so we'll move in on to the next pin it's getting to the point where I can almost know that it's gonna make it so One more pin here. I'm now I'm rolling the orange fabric just a bit, and I'm reaching up, not exactly straight across. I'm actually wanting to pull the orange fabric tighter, and then go into the yellow. And now let's put it on and see how that looks. Pretty good. Let's see. To a certain extent, some of those wrinkles will come out as I stitch it in place. And if they don't come out there, I've still got to sew together the back. So, what I'm going to do now that I'm happy with that is I'm going to take 
roll over about a quarter of an inch on the bottom, the orange, roll it over so it's not just the cut edge, and now I'm going to line it up right on the edge of that seam, plunge my needle up through the foam and out the front, and we'll do two or three more of those. Now we're not going to actually put it through the foam. I'm just going to pin the edge over. And now, just like the opposite side, this is ready to sew. We'll use the ladder stitch. So this, this side together all the way from the jaw all the way around. And then once these are done, the uh, the puppet's really starting to look nice. Very happy with it. Once these are sewed in, then I will make whatever uh, adjustments I need to make to the back seam, and it will be good to go. So, next segment, I will show you how to uh, begin stitching the sides of the puppet together. Probably won't do the whole thing, but you'll see the ladder stitch in action on the puppet. And uh, then after that, we'll uh, show you the back scene. So, there we go. For Bashful Puppet Blog, I'm John Clayburn. Happy puppet building.